Tell us what Fan Brigade is singing about here, please. I like to drink a lot of milk, Frisian and Jersey. But something else has hit the shelf, and to be honest, I prefer Z. Move over bovine, it's time for the Irvine to shine. New Zealand wants to fine dine on merino cheese and wine. Just one tag on their woolliness, and the low creamy woolly dips. Goodbye, dairy farming, cause mutton's much more charming. <laughs> And you know, there aren't enough songs with the words woolly nips in them. <laughs> this, this thankfully, we've remedied that. Some sheep, sheep breast related story this week. Any, yeah. any idea what's happening now? I, I, I saw a story about cheese and milk made from, or products made from sheep's milks being exported to, to China because, I don't know, the Chinese just think cows are too big. Oh, <laughs> no. This is the, apparently cows are last year's news. We're exporting sheep related products to China now. Madness. Yeah, pretty much in the wake of falling dairy prices, New Zealand farmers are being urged to start producing sheep's milk, which is worth $17 per kilo of milk solids compared with the cow's milk, which is only about $4 per kilo. I personally think it's just numbers. I think we're just milking them because we have a lot of them. <laughs> all, all I can say is look out possums, sparrows and solo mums. <laughs> So you're saying it's $17 a kilo for sheep's milk? Yeah. Mm. How much did the black sheep get for the chocolate milk? <laughs> $17 dollars a kilo. I mean, even the gangs are going to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gang selling, it's, it's pretty pure. I've cut it with a bit of cow. But... Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty high end, eh? It's high end, it's raising the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it must be very hard for them to create a new industry Mm. It's just really nice to see that where there's a wall, there's a way. <laughs> Want more videos? Don't answer. Just subscribe to the Seven Days YouTube channel.